and welcome back to Skills USA 2014. We are so excited to be here. It's our favorite event of the year. It tops SEMA, it tops the Good Guys Nationals, it tops Autorama for us. Now gathered behind us is 130 of the best and the brightest that the collision industry has to offer. And everything from refinishing to metal to welding to structure. They're gonna go through several competitions today showcasing their skills and talent and showing us why they're gonna be the best brightest technicians that you're going to have in your shop and in the future of this industry. So stay tuned as we walk you through each station and show you what they're going to have to compete in and then we ask you to measure yourself and say could you win Skills USA. Here at the 2014 Skills Competition, one of the segments that's really critical is the analyzation of structural damage. Now, as you look behind me, you may say to yourself, well, wait a minute now, why are they showing centerline gauges? Here's the basis behind that. If you don't have an understanding of the foundation of structural damage and how those computers actually think, you're never going to be able to analyze the damage and find it all in the vehicle. So we start with a very simple fundamental process, which is analyzing the car with centerline gauges. I know they're not used in your shop, but here's the thing. If they don't have a visual in their head as they're going with that computer system, they're going to probably miss the obvious damage, even though they're measuring with electronic equipment. This is going to decrease your cycle time, increase your throughput, and profitability will be better for you. So by hiring somebody from Skills USA with these skills behind me, you're going to have a better outcome in your repair shop. At Skills 2014, one of the first areas of competition for the Collision Repair Technology Division is plastic repair. Now, as we know, as bumper covers and some other plastic parts begin to go on the rise in cost, having the technicians in your shop that can repair plastics quickly and effectively can increase your overall profitability, decrease your cycle time, and get more throughput through the shop. Now, what they're going to be doing behind me that you see is they're going to do a tear repair. Now, that's a front and a back repair, and they're also going to fix a tab two things that we see in the collision shop on a daily basis. So these kids are going to make great employees at your shop. Hey, we're at the 2014 Skills Competition in Kansas City, and we're now in the welding segment of the competition. One of the key things here is following directions. In the directions, it tells them that they're going to perform several different welds. One of those is going to be a lap weld. And in doing so, you have to make sure that you meet and keep within the boundaries that ICAR has established. Now, this is an ICAR welding course it's not the most current course, but yet it provides enough knowledge to us that the student knows how to perform these welds with a MIG welder. The second weld that they'll perform is actually a lap weld, or a butt weld, I should say. And also, once again, it has to meet the criteria in that area for that weld, so it keeps the heat effect zone to a minimum. The third operation that they're going to do is a fillet weld. And once again, they have to stay within the parameters that are outlined in the directions. And the fourth one that they'll have to finish up with is the actual plug weld itself. And this has to be a certain size and a certain location. And once they've achieved this, they have accomplished their goals. Now, these tests are not destructed here, so they don't actually earn a certificate from ICAR, but they have achieved the goals that ICAR has set forth. So think about that. When you're, putting, when you're looking at your next technician, do they have the skills necessary to weld? And that's going to be the key point in this competition. It's Skills USA 2014, and we've dropped by my favorite area of the competition, the automotive refinish technology. Now, in this area, the students are going to be challenged in just about every aspect of refinishing that you'll find in traditional collision repair shops, all the way up from prepper into the full bank. So the first part of the competition that they'll start with is masking. So we're not only looking for their ability to cover the car and protect the interiors and the jams for the masking operation, but how well they can save material. So in other words, it doesn't matter how great they tape it if they're running through paint materials and upping expenses. Then the students are going to go on to color tinting and matching. Now this is where we test their knowledge of color theory and the science behind mixing paint and what it takes to get a blendable match and a match with today's colors. Moving from there, they'll go straight into spot repair and refinishing, where this year we're spraying Exalta's Chromax Pro Water Base, letting them go through color match and working on a panel. And then the final stage for them is spot repair, prime, feather, and block. Now that's a typical operation that we hear a lot about. They're gonna be combining primer to a plastic, knocking that primer down, feather edging it back, and preparing it for color. They're going through every step necessary to be a productive paint refinishing technician for your shop. So take a look at these students, and remember that the future, it starts here at Skills USA. We're here at the 2014 Skills USA sheet metal repair segment. Now in this segment here, the contestants have 90 minutes to take care of three areas of repair on the fender. The first one up in here requires a small dent in this area here where they have to metal finish it where there's no plastic filler allowed. 
This area over here is a crease in the back of this fender, and they'll use body filler to make that repair take place. The most challenging part of this fender is down here in this area here, where it looks like a major hail dent. The technicians will have to use no heat, remove that dent completely, and metal finish it off. The final process of the fender, the fourth step, is to sand it completely down. Now, you might think that a fender this small really doesn't require repair, but it really brings a challenge, though, to the technicians that are here at the competition. In 90 minutes, they have to complete all four tasks. So when the contestants finish up these tasks, they have now completed this challenge. 90 minutes, just think about that. So this really hones their skills. It helps them improve their quality in a short period of time. Think about it the next time you're hiring that skilled technician and the challenges that they faced here and what they can do for you in your repair shop.